Right, so hey guys and welcome back to the part 2 of creating a backdoor program using Python. So in this video what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be viewing the files in the current working directory in which the infected program is going to be placed or the slave program is going to be placed. So without further ado, let's begin. So the, we create a new variable called command where all the commands the user enters are going to be stored. We want to put this in loop so we start a loop while one. We do command equals input string command. This is where the command will be entered by the user, which is later going to be sent to the slave and executed over there. So the first command we're going to create, um, what we want to do is do send the command to the machine. So how we do that is we do connection dot send command dot encode. Encode basically turns it into bytes, which is how, which is what we need if you're running Python version uh, three or above. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then we're going to print command sent, waiting for execution. Okay, so waiting for execution basically means we the command has been received on the t on the slave program, but we're just waiting for confirmation. So to receive confirmation, we're just going to do connection.receive 1024 bytes. And if the connection does receive anything, we're just going to print uh, command has been executed successfully. Right. So for now, that's that. And we want to go on to here and receive the command. So we're going to do connection has been completed so that we know what phase you're working on and now we do command receiving and execution right so first of all we want to receive the command so we do while one um, command equals s dot receive you want to receive a thousand and twenty four bytes not more than that and then we do command equals command dot decode, which is going to take off any unneeded information from the data being sent. And then we say if so, this is where we can actually um, define any define any commands that are being sent over. So what we want to do is um, based on the type of command being sent, we will execute differently. But first of all, we want to create a command for viewing the different files. So we say if command equals um, view current working directory which is CWD let's just give it a short forms for now and we're just gonna create a comma just on the start of the program let's create a comment and let's say commands list or command list and we'll state all the commands down there so we don't forget so view C current working directory CWD will show all files in uh, the directory where the file is running which is this file so if this happens what we want to do is do os i mean so files equals create a new variable called files and then do files equals os.get OS current working directory cwd make sure you did import os in the start as well or it's not going to work so once we're done with that what we want to do is this might come out as a list so we want to override that as a string so we do files equals str files so we convert that into a string because we can only send strings over by encoding them in the end so finally we're going to send the strings over so command i mean s.send command.encode which are the files we have gathered and then we can say command has been executed successfully um, when we receive a command we also want to say command received And then we want to print some blank lines so that it looks better. 
and then we want to send a confirmation to the server back saying that it has been done so right now we might need to change this code because we're working a bit differently so we need to what we actually want to do is categorize all this in information based on different commands because it's going to be very different so just bear in mind um, copy the cut this code out and then type in if command equals um, view current working directory then we do so and so oops yep yeah, and we do so and so so what we're doing is we're sending the command over which is going to be received here and then what what's going to happen here is going to get the files it's going to store the files and it's going to send the files back so what we messed up here on is that we need another one right here where which is going to be called files and it's going to be equals connection dot receive let's just say 5000 bytes i don't think it's going to be more than that and then we do files equals files dot decode and then once we have this prompt saying um well we're gonna have this we're just gonna save this oops and then put it down here because we want to know that the command has been executed first so we also need to send s dot send we can just send some empty string over just to confirm that the command has been executed and then we're going to receive the files later on down here and then all we need to do is print received we can just print um, command output and then we print whatever is coming through right let's run this oh first of all we also need to type in an else command or everything's going to be messed up else print command not recognized okay just going to put an empty line in there as well just for the looks and we're just going to copy this over to the other one as well cool so we're going to run this and we're going to run this too I'm just going to leave this on this side uh, unintended does not match. Hmm, that's really weird. Um, let me see. Oh, I'm actually outer connection level. Maybe I should try pushing it first. sure why it's giving the error for syntax but I will try and sort that out mm. so we're in a loop we start an if condition we're going downwards and we've written an L so it shouldn't do that really okay there we go so let's open both the programs it's just an indentation error so we have our address right here we copy that and we paste it in the slave enter that and we we have a shell so we're going to say view current working directory and we don't have an output actually what's wrong with that okay just going to kill this program for now because it should have actually printed the files that have been sent but it didn't so s.sin this.encode and then s.sin command.encode oh no no wonder it should should have been files.encode so once we're done with that we're just going to run this again um, yeah should be all good this time hopefully let's paste that in there um, view current working directory not sure why it's not showing up with the files that have been sent still seems like it's still waiting for something to happen so 
I think it will be better if we take off the confirmation. So let's take off the blank one and take it off from here as well because I think it's sending it all in one go and receiving it in one go too, which is why it's causing a problem. Uh, okay, we'll just take off this line too. And we need a line up here before the command is being entered. So let's put a line on there. All right. I'm just going to run this again. Um, run this again too. Paste. And we need to enter the command. View current working directory. And there we go. As we see right here, we have a current working directory. So as soon as we sent it, it has a prompt saying the it's in my A directory on my desktop in my UG folder um, workspace Python backend. That's where the file is currently saved see it right here All right so as you see the the first function of the program works properly <laughs>